everyone, and welcome to another episode of Holloway Ventures. I'm Randy Collins, your host. Please like, subscribe, and follow so you will have these lessons available. Let's go over our expectations. Expectation number one, you have to have a piece of paper in the art class. Mm -hmm. And number two, you have to have a pencil. Today, for this lesson, you're going to need a cup about this size because we're going to need a circle that's pretty big this time. We are going to draw a picture of a black panther. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I want you to do is usually we point to the middle of the paper. This time I want you to put the circle in the middle of the paper. Notice how it's right in the center. I'm putting my hand on top and I'm going to press my pencil against the outer side of the circle. Go around it. Hold it straight so I can get me a clean circle just like that. Next, I'm going to point to the middle of the circle instead of the middle of the paper, and I'm going to put a little dot right there in the center. Now, usually when we draw a happy face, we do the same thing. We have the dot in the center, and we put our eyes on each side. Because a cat has oval eyes, we're not going to draw eyes that are up and down. We're going to draw them kind of slanted, one on each side as an oval. See how I did that? Now, right underneath that, in between the eyes and the bottom, just like we do when we're drawing a landscape, right in the middle, in between these two, I want you to put a dot there, and then you're going to put a nose. See how I'm drawing a line straight across? Make sure you do it just like mine, and then I'm going to do two diagonal lines on the side, just very small lines like that to get the black panther his nose. Next, watch what I do. I'm going to go up to the top, and I'm going to draw a huge huge capital or uppercase U right here. I'm going to try to come to each side of these eyes. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to draw a huge U just like that on both sides. Notice how I came all the way over here. I want you to do the same thing. Good. Once you're done, watch me. I'm going to draw an 11, the number 11, one, one on this side and one, one on this side of my dot. See how I did that? Make sure it's a little bit of space in between there. You don't want them to real close together. Next, I'm going to draw another large U, but watch what I do. I'm going to come around for my U. Notice how I'm leaving space. And then I'm going to slant down towards my 11. And then I'm going to draw a line up to my eye. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to draw what looks like a large U. I'm going to then come down beside my 11 and I'm going to draw another line there. See how I did that? Now, here comes a little bit of a tricky part. Watch me. Um, in between my eye, right in the center, if I was to put a dot right there, you don't have to put those dots because I don't want you to have to erase it. And if I come straight down, right beside my nose, I can put a little small dot right there. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to draw a line that goes from here to the dot and then straight down underneath my eye. See how I did that? I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Watch again. I'm going to put, I'm going to point to the middle of my eye. I'm going to come down here right beside my nose. I'm going to go up to the side of my eye and I'm going to draw a line from here to that dot. And then I'm going to go straight down just like this. See how I did that? It's giving me the look of the Black Panther. Next, remember, a cat has ears on top of his head. We're going to draw two uh, triangles up here at the top for my cat ears. It's starting to look a lot like Black Panther. The last thing I want you to do is this. Come down here and I want you to draw a W underneath his chin. And then you're going to do another capital W over here, or uppercase W, and I'm going to do another W up over here for his necklace. See how I drew that Black Panther? There are other ways that you can do this. For example, if you want to color the Black Panther in, what you would have to do is take a line and go around this U. That way you can color all of this black and then leave this face white. You would also have to make these into lines, rectangles, and then color all of this face black as well. You have to use this. See how I'm all of a sudden creating blocks and rectangles so that I can color my Black Panther in? Black Panther doesn't have a mouth that you can actually see. So you're going to leave this like this. Now watch what I do now. I'm going to put Black Panther's usually ready for battle. So I'm going to put a diagonal line here on this side and another diagonal line here on this side. You Also, if you want, you can put a large oval underneath here for his shoulders or however else you want to do it. Okay? This is the start of a Black Panther. Of course, you can color all of this in and make it all black if you want to. And then you will have your picture of your Black Panther. I hope you enjoyed this today. I want you to keep working hard. Make sure that you're safe and take care of yourself. Got it, got it? Got it, got it. Color all of this in and I will see you soon.